So the, the genesis of this uh, partnership, this merger, is to benefit from the scale, and size, and distribution, and network, and reach of Europe's largest hotel company, Accor, and the independence, autonomy, authenticity, storytelling, creativity of Ennismore. And the partnership is, is about taking brands and ensuring they live on in uh, cities and countries around the world, but are brands that are purposeful, that have meaning, that have depth, that have authenticity um, at its heart. And the combination is incredibly compelling because it allows the creativity of these brands to flourish under the independence and the autonomous structure that we've created, but also benefit from the global reach and scale of ACO around the world. You know, we've had this kind of always had a focus um, about following the customer, trying to understand carefully where the customer is going. And what is very clear for everyone to see today is that the customer is going from a functional approach to an experiential approach. And we've been focused on building brands that have a high experience uh, focus at their heart. And that's how we started going more and more into the lifestyle uh, business because when people want experiences, they want to be there, they're, they're willing to pay more and they're willing to travel far for the right experience. Even though you may not have the best location in town, if you have the right experience, today people are willing to actually travel for that. And that got us thinking about really building a portfolio which is more balanced. ACO has been amazing at the mid-scale and economy segment, largest in the world, done an amazing job with brands like Novotel, Ibis. Um, and as we build our portfolio forward, as we look at where the business is headed, where the world is headed, we, uh, we want to balance that portfolio. Uh, be much more in the luxury and lifestyle space. Um, you know, five years ago, we were pretty negligible in this space. Today, more than half the revenue of Accor comes from the luxury and lifestyle space. So this is a very important piece of our business because whilst today it's very small for Accor, it's 5% uh, of our revenue, it's almost one third of our entire pipeline by value. Uh, so you, you can clearly see from being almost zero five years ago, Almost a, almost a third of our pipeline is now driven by this lifestyle segment, so a very important piece of the puzzle over the next 10, 20 years as we build our business. But one of the things that was very clear is that they understood that to truly create brands with purpose, they need to be in an environment that is outside of what they currently have. And the second we got into that conversation, the, the partnership was so much more easier to, to, to think through because I've spent my life building brands with purpose. I've spent my life building a team that tells stories. And you know we've created an amazing group of collection of brands that are incredibly authentic. Accor has acquired some amazing brands that are incredibly authentic. And I think if you allow these brands to flourish, if they still have founders under their founder's leadership, but within a structure that we're going to create that's autonomous, that gives you an incredibly powerful recipe to really be able to build this business at scale. And it hasn't been done before. Most form lifestyle divisions within larger companies. I think both Sebastian's leadership and Goro's leadership, they've understood that actually this is not a division within a company. This is an autonomous vehicle that is going to be based on authenticity, creativity, food and beverage, programming. And we're going to be based in London, that's our head, head, head office with, with, between London and New York. And that really allows us to ensure that every brand that we have has a mission, has a purpose, has a reason for being. I think every hotelier and every operator has had to sit back and reflect. Um, whereas we love running multiple projects and multiple uh, operations uh, around, you have to focus your energies, focus and conserve your efforts. And, and I think for me, one of the things I realized during the last eight, nine, 10 months, you know, scale matters. Um, and, and I think if you combine the pipeline and the portfolio that ACO brings, the pipeline and portfolio that we bring, and the collective ambitions of ACO's global development teams, our development teams, 
you've got a huge, huge opportunity uh, to scale this business over the coming years. I think the leisure market has unquestionably benefited more than hotels that are in, 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 in business districts. Generally, our lifestyle hotels are evenly split between food and beverage uh, and rooms. So that really allows us, when things come back, to come back a lot faster than traditional hotels.